I'm back with another video. So today continues my college advice series. I'm so sorry that I've taken a break and kind of been on hiatus from these videos. I got really caught up in my new job working really long hours and my birthday was coming up and I just got really, really busy. But I'm back to talk about more college related topics. So today's video is a topic that a lot of you girls have been itching and scratching to get me to talk about. It's been the most highly requested topic for me to talk about and that is boys, sex, and relationships in college. So a lot of girls have been asking me about this and it's a very mature topic. So with you watching this video, you're pretty much giving me the permission and the green light to just keep it as real as possible and just say anything pretty much unfiltered. So if you are too young or you just don't wanna hear the things that might come out of my mouth, you can just click off of this video right now. So when I first came to college, I already had my mind made up that I wasn't even gonna get caught up in the whole boy thing. I wasn't gonna be boy crazy. I wasn't even gonna give anybody the time and I wasn't gonna give anybody a chance. And that was just because uh, previously before I came to college, I had been in a really bad, some really bad relationships and some pretty hurtful relationships. And it just was not in me to even want to branch out to any boys at all. So it was just my thing to just say to myself, but I definitely, definitely made that promise to myself and still didn't get to upkeep it 100%. Within the first semester, I started talking to this boy. I think I already mentioned who I was talking to in like a previous vlog or something. Him and I were very, very cool. We were in a lot of the same classes and it never really went that far. We didn't have sex, nothing like that. I really wasn't, no, I wasn't into that. But we were talking and then one day I just decided to ask him like, hey, like, where do you want to go with this? Like, how is this going to be? Because you kind of always want to make sure that you and the other person are on the same page and he was just like I like you and we're pretty good together but I just want to stay friends for now because I'm not trying to get into anything crazy we just got to college and I was on that same exact page so everything was cool but eventually we did just fall off but we stayed friends and we're still friends to this day and then after him and I fell off after maybe about like a month of talking I talked to another guy and I never really mentioned the fact that I even talked to him probably nobody would even guess that I talked to him watching my vlogs back it's just like we were cool at the same time and I thought him and I were gonna go pretty far but one day he had a girl text my phone telling me that he didn't want to like be with me or whatever and I was just like nigga are you stupid it really wasn't like a big deal like I really wasn't trying to be in that deep relationship with him because I had only been in college for about two or three months but yeah it kind of didn't end well and I was just like well that's exactly why I didn't want to talk to any of these dudes in the first place because a lot of them were just on some other stuff so that was just the first semester. I talked to two people, didn't go well. And after that, I really wasn't like talking to anybody heavy. I wasn't really giving anybody the chance. Um, I kind of had like some flings here and there, not talking about sex because I was not out there acting crazy. But um, I just was just, just chilling if I would say so myself. So then came the second semester and I got very heavily invested in this one boy who was the topic of discussion for my video where I said caught him cheating on Valentine's Day which a lot of people have seen a lot of people have given me praise for and a lot of people have given me flack for I just came very invested in him and we just went through some crazy stuff and it just was so bizarre I never want to revisit the craziness that happened between me and that individual because we are so past that him and I don't even have beef we are very cool and I already mentioned that before and yeah. So the first topic that we're gonna talk about is sex cause I'm pretty sure you guys are just really wanting to hear about it and really want me to tell you guys about sex and college and all that stuff. So I'm gonna just not even wait and save the best for last and tell y'all it right now. So I'm gonna keep it very real. Like I said in the beginning of the video, the backstory between me and sex is that I really was not invested in anybody. Like I said, the first semester, but the second semester I was very sexually invested with this person that I've already mentioned. And it just wasn't healthy because him and I were friends without a title but we were also together we also had like little boundaries but it really wasn't nothing because both of us overstepped those boundaries plenty of times it just really took a toll on my mental health and it took a toll on my schoolwork and it just was not a good thing I never really regret anything but I do regret some of the things that happened in that situation because it just really was a waste of time and for him and I to be very cool to this day it just seems like it was such a waste of time it was so dumb but like I said I'm gonna keep it real him and I were very sexually active like I'm talking maybe two three times a week and it just really wasn't a good thing for me to be doing but to be very honest that was my first time ever being sexually involved that deeply with a guy anytime before that it was just like a once and done thing or maybe two and done thing and I'm, I'm talking like I'm some type of hoe it, it was like maybe two guys before him okay not maybe it was and it just seemed like it just wasn't going the way how I wanted it 
for whatever reason, I thought if I opened up to him in that type of way, that maybe he would want to be with me. And at the time, he really just wanted to do what he wanted to do because that's what freshman guys do in college. They don't want to settle down. So with that whole entire situation with me being that active and me getting my feelings involved with someone who wasn't trying to be that reciprocal with me, it just really was bad. But it taught me some tips and some lessons that I want to share with you guys. So tip number one when it comes to having sex in college is to make sure that you and your partner are on the same page. You definitely do not want to think that you guys are in a relationship and he just thinks that you guys are just smashing or vice versa because I've seen that happen too and I've seen guys get their feelings hurt you definitely want to make sure that this is what it is and this is what it's not it's just going to make everything a lot easier it's going to let everybody have a lot more mental sanity it just makes everything so much better so make sure that you extend a curious attitude towards whoever you plan on being sexually active with and make sure that you guys both know that you guys are on the same page so this goes for titles boundaries what you guys want to do how far you willing to go it just minimizes confusion and it minimizes stress and it definitely is like the key thing is just to make sure that you guys are on the same page tip number two is to know the difference between casual sex and non-casual sex so I'm gonna give you guys a definition just in case you're watching and you don't know so casual sex it's really like no relationship you guys are just doing it to do it and doing it to satisfy each other there's really no strength attached you guys are just doing it I'm not gonna say there's anything wrong with casual sex if you want to do that then that's fine with me I don't judge anybody when it comes to that topic but just make sure that it's kind of like which exactly you want to do. Don't get it twisted where sometimes you just want to be casual and sometimes you just want to be non-casual. Casual means no strings attached. You're just doing it to satisfy each other and that's all it is. So non-casual sex is kind of like when you guys are in a relationship or just a very heavy situation ship and you're not just doing it as a one-time fling like a one-night stand. You guys are constantly doing it and you guys have established something where you know that this is who you're going to be sexually active with and that's just mean it's non-casual casual because it's not something where you have different partners you kind of just have one partner you just have one person that you're focused on and you guys know exactly what you're doing you guys do it pretty frequently tip number three when it comes to sex in college is to keep your business to yourself this is so self-explanatory like it's legitimately common sense but for whatever reason some girls just don't get it and these guys just don't get it now this is going to have to be a double standard when it comes to guys and males they want to talk about who they're smashing how good they do it how the girl reacted, how far she went. They want to tell everybody. They literally want to get on a public announcement system and just spread it to everybody and let everybody know their business. You know guys like to roll in packs. They literally roll with the whole hood. So if you think he's just going to tell his one homeboy, you got it all wrong. He's going to tell three of his homeboys who are then going to go tell three of their homeboys who are going to then tell three of their homeboys. And then by that time, everyone's going to know who it is and what you are and what you're doing with that person. Now, when it comes to us girls, we're not as voiceless with what we do with everybody. We're kind of a little bit more private. But when it comes to girls, girls like to tear each other down, especially black girls, which is really sad. So my tip is to just keep your business to yourself. Don't go around telling everybody who you're messing with, even if it's the most bomb sex or the most bomb head or whatever it is keep it between yourself or just you and your roommate or you and whoever you can trust deeply I never sat there and told anybody who I was messing with until it really became like him and I were talking on a very serious note because I just didn't feel the need to tell everybody what was going on and he didn't want his business to be out there as well and we were kind of on the same page with that but um yeah just make sure that you keep all of your business to yourself socially there is a double standard so it's like when you're a girl you have no respect if you want to sleep around with whoever you may want to sleep around with which I don't agree with if you want to sleep around that's fine just make sure you're safe it's always going to be a double standard against us women so what we need to do is try and keep our business down to ourselves and make sure if we do want to sleep around with other people that only you and that person know and keep it to as minimal people to know and as minimal partners as you can possibly make it I feel like girls should be free to desire and have sex and have as many partners as they want to have and be as sexually free as they want to and as sexually liberated as men are allowed to do but that's just not the case in our society so because that isn't a reality it's just vital to keep your relationships to a minimum and keep all of your business to yourself you just don't want to be known as the campus hoe especially if you're a freshman tip number four about sex in college is to wait don't get caught up my thing is really 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 get to know the person that you want to be sexually active with even if you just want to have casual sex just make sure that you kind of know about that person don't let him hit on the first night guys we need to be stingy with this kitty cat. We can't just let everyone dive into our our 
sexual garden and we just needed to make sure that it's our private thing even if you want to sleep around and you just want to have casual sex from time to time you still want to get to know your partner as much as you can before you let him go down there guys love to trick girls into what i like to call premature sex which is pretty much having sex before you get to know somebody or just way too fast and they want to act like as if they're going to stick around and be with you forever and be college sweethearts but then after they get what they want is when they embrace their inner fuck boy and it's just a killer it's happened to like everybody so don't feel as if like you're the only one it's happening to it's happened to a lot of girls and I've seen it and it's I guess it's happened to me too but <laughs> he came back but uh yeah just don't get caught up tip number five is such a really self-explanatory tip but it is to stay protected at all times let me tell you guys STDs won wild in college I mean just the little STDs to like the highest level of things and there's some people out here who are just going around hitting this girl that girl this girl and he doesn't know that he has it and now he's infected three people who are then going to maybe infect three other people and it just runs wild in college because you are on a campus and you are solidified to one little standpoint and one little area so my thing is to stay as protected as possible do not feed into what a man says about oh I don't want to use protection because it doesn't feel good or I like to do it this way are you going to like it when you test positive for whatever it may be or are you gonna like it when my pregnancy test comes up positive no so in order for your sanity and for his sanity it is best to stay protected at all times I understand sometimes you may become heat of the moment and you know everything's just flowing and you don't want to stop to do it but it's like vital for you to always be protected trust me please trust me sometimes a girl may think she's just with one guy and the guy is only with her and she doesn't need to have protection but chances are that guy is not only with you he is with four other girls and he is out here spreading around what I like to call kitty cat juices and you don't want your kitty cat juices mixing with another kitty cat juices with mixing with the eggplant juices and it's just turn around into something you don't want don't even think about it just stay protected I would also get tested bi-monthly if you are sexually active to be very honest it's really smart to just keep getting tested because things come up you might get tested and catch something and contract something like a week later and not get tested until three months later and not even know that you have something because I have seen that happen so I definitely think it's a good idea to get tested and stay protected so now we're moving on to the next part of this video which is about relationships and boys in college so here I'm just gonna give you a little backstory about like I guess me and how the reality is about relationships and boys in college so I remember how I was like in the 10th grade and I had a boyfriend who was in the 12th grade and then the next following year he obviously went to college and we didn't last long when he went to college because guess what he wanted to mess around with other girls and he didn't want to be tied down 99% of the boys in college who are freshmen that is their mindset they don't want to be tied down to just one girl there's girls that they've never seen before of all shapes and sizes and of all backgrounds that they want to tap into so basically the whole relationship idea as a freshman girl kick it out of the window please omit it from your life don't even think about it most of these boys do not want any type of relationship as soon as they come to college what I found is usually it's the more mature guys who are like juniors and seniors actually sometimes it's a lot of sophomores too who have had their fun during their freshman year doing whatever they wanted to do that now want to settle down so with that being said tip number one is don't come to college thinking that you're gonna fall in love and be college sweethearts with the first guy that you meet this is just a big no uh, my thing is freshman boys will pump anything with a pulse anything with a pulse is what they're gonna want to pump into and get all familiarized with and they're not really here to settle down and be in a relationship with anybody they are never really thinking long term at all as us girls we like to think long term oh what our kids are gonna look like when are we gonna get married when will he propose to me what are we gonna be at in a year where freshman guys are just thinking maybe one week in advance when he decides to hit it and leave you for the next girl so I wouldn't even think about doing anything like that some guys can be very nice and very very deceitful and deceiving and you may think oh he's nice nicer than what I've met he's not on that uh you might want to hold off and make sure you really know so yeah don't think that you're going to come in falling in love with the first guy that you meet and it's going to be one big fairy tale because I'm telling you it's a 99.9% .9 chance it is not gonna happen so tip number two is like I was saying earlier that the upperclassmen guys are more willing to be in relationships than the underclassmen so some of the freshmen are just not 
there most of them are not there but the sophomores juniors especially the seniors they're ready to move on they're like in their early 20s and they want to settle down and kind of get into that college relationship and i found that all the relationships that were happening on my campus were with older guys so out of the whole like black community freshman class because i guess you could say i was part of the black community there was only one couple in the entire like semesters that we were there for the first year and they didn't even last that long like they didn't even make it to like the end of the semester so it's just crazy to know that freshman guys aren't really their heads aren't really in the whole type of long-term relationship so I wouldn't even go looking for one in the first place most of the older guys have had their fun being thought pockets so they're ready to like settle down and get to know somebody so maybe if you wait or you just get an older guy if you really want to be in a relationship maybe it'll work for you so the girls that were on their radar they've already either smashed or they just couldn't smash so they're ready to just settle down now that they've done everything that they can do in their freshman year so the third and final tip that I have for boys and relationships in college is to keep your relationship pretty low-key I see a lot of girls always posting pictures and snaps of their man and their boyfriend and wondering why they're always in drama because this guy is probably not faithful and there's always gonna be some drama if I were you I would you know give a little teaser I'm part of the hide your man 2016 campaign nobody knows who my boyfriend is and the people that do know it's like like kind of on the down low keep your relationships very very low key or on the lowest key that you could possibly keep it on you do not need the drama you're already in college it's already stressful with the work and the classes and the teachers and keeping your grades up and making connections and going out and being social and all of that college related stuff so the last thing you want is for your relationship that you are pretty much putting a lot of time and effort into to just be bombarded with drama all because you were telling everyone your business it's just not a good look so that is it for this advice video on sex and relationships and boys in college. I hope you guys found this very like personal. I hope you felt as if I was really talking to you and I opened up and I told you guys some real true information. I hope you guys are really taking information from all these videos because it does take me some time to make these. It really is a project that I really wanted to give to you guys because I never had this going into college last year. So I hope you guys do appreciate these videos because it does take me some time to make them. So I just want to make sure that you guys like them at least. So that is it. I hope you guys like this video please like comment share and subscribe I really want you guys to comment because I love reading you guys' comments about whatever it is that I'm talking about so if you even if you just want to comment that you like the video just leave it down below please because I love reading you guys' comments and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys Bye.